Do you like to stay in bed late on the weekends? What time are you usually at work until? Have you ever been on a farm or in the mountains? Oh, maybe you see where this conversation is going, huh? Let's discuss. Welcome to another Happy English Podcast coming to you from New York City. And here's your English teacher, Michael. All right. Thank you, John. And thanks, everyone. It's Michael here from Happy English, and I help people speak English better. This is Happy English Podcast, episode 722. Phrases with at, in, and on. Last week in episode 721, we talked about using at and in to talk about location. Today, I'd like to get into how we use in, at, and on in some set phrases also to talk about location. Let's get the ball rolling. First, here's a little review. As I mentioned last time, we tend to use at with an action verb and in with the be verb. Here are some examples of that. You can arrive at the park and be in the park. You can work at your desk and be in the office until 8 p.m. You can drink coffee at a cafe and be in the cafe for an hour. There are also a number of set phrases with either in or at, but not both. Let's check those out. If you are in bed, it means that you are sleeping or relaxing in your bed. And usually that means under the covers. You can also be at work, which means you are working at your workplace. You can also be in class, which means you are studying with your classmates and the teacher in the classroom. And if you like water, you can be at sea, which means you're probably on a cruise somewhere traveling in the ocean. In bed, at work, in class, at sea. These are set phrases, and you can't use another preposition with them with the same meaning. Next, let's go to a farm. You can live or work on a farm. You can arrive at a farm for a weekend stay to enjoy the countryside life. How about the beach? You can go to the beach. You can arrive at the beach and you can spend the whole day on the beach. How about a park? You can go to a park. You can arrive at the park and you can spend your whole day in the park and have a picnic in the park. And speaking of natural places, Bears live in the mountains, which means an area of several mountains. Bears live in caves in the mountains. In the wintertime, you can see snow on a mountain or snow on the mountains. And in the summertime, you can see trees on a mountain or trees on the mountains. And finally, we have the phrase at home. I was at home all day yesterday. At home. In this case, home is used as a noun. At home. But the word home could also be used as an adverb without a preposition. I was home all day yesterday. I was home or I was at home. That's right. You can be home or be at home. We use both of those patterns, again, because the word home is used as a noun and as an adverb. Keep in mind, the best way to remember this and any other word or phrase in English 
is to take that word or phrase, write it in a sentence that's true for you or true in your world, and then memorize your sentences. By the way, can you imagine getting the chance to practice this kind of English with me directly? You can get more practice using your English when you join my podcast learner's study group. There, you can make new friends, join us for live group coaching every week where we practice these podcast lessons together. Plus, you get access to the PDF transcript and audio download for every Happy English podcast in the past and in the future. And on top of that, each episode has exercises where you can practice this English point with speaking and writing checked by me. To learn more or to see some of the example sentences from this lesson, just visit myhappyenglish.com and choose podcast lesson 722. Remember, learning another language is not easy, but it's not impossible, and I'm here to help you on your journey. This podcast was brought to you by Happy English. Please visit myhappyenglish.com. Show your support for Happy English by leaving us a review. Get English. Get happy. Happy English.